I'm Jojo Astro Barbie, Queen of Stars. How are you? Welcome to your weekly horoscope. This week, the sun is in the sign of Taurus. So happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Little bullsies of the zodiac sea, we love you. The moon will travel in the signs of Pisces, Aries, and Taurus and Gemini. On Wednesday, we have a beautiful new moon in the sign of Taurus. An ideal time for new beginnings and to put projects into motion. On Friday, Venus Planet of Love in Pisces will enter passionate Aries. Communications and love are definitely the stars of the heavens of this exciting week. The current Mercury retrograde has extended its usual tour of three weeks to six weeks. And this Mercury also has a strong interaction with the planet of shock and change Uranus and Saturn planet of wisdom way more than usual so that means a lot of heavy emotions going through everywhere uranus makes us crazy that's a, one thing and saturn it gives us extra sensitivity and it, it gives that gives us the blues it's sort of a strange like a up and down kind of feeling but we just have to go with the flow it brings us also many endings uh, a, tr a truth that comes out out of the of the dark the light that shines through all the dark and new beginnings and new endings for some reason. On Monday, we have a second fire trine with Saturn and Mercury giving all of us a chance to make things right, to make amends, to start fresh. If not, there will be definitely some learning painful consequences. On Wednesday, the double Taurus energy helps us to forge ahead Ole, ole, and do something beautiful, do something good for the better good of all. And also something that is long lasting for the next few weeks. On Friday, it's a very big day. Venus, planet of love, re-enters the masculine world of Aries until June, bringing challenges in romance, relationships, partnerships, and finances. But if it's on the right side, it will work out. If it's not, you will need to make some changes. Mercury retrograde also has its second meetup with a shocking Uranus, bringing even more chaos, uncertainty, and craziness in the political and government affairs. Transportations, commerce, immigration, and communications in general will be affected in a crazy way. And it was one thing for sure, the new news will be quite fascinating to watch, okay? So let me start now with you, Taurus. Happy birthday to you. You are doing good, Taurus. Keep it up. The new moon in your sign bring you charm, vitality, confidence. Your ruler Venus also entering your spiritual sector make you very intuitive and very compassionate. In love, you have the ability to articulate your feelings with ease. And in career, you gain applause for your bright ideas and genius. The answer to your questions about a special project is definitely yes, you get a green light. Socially, you get a lot of support and on the weekend, treat yourself to a good time and recharge your batteries, you'll need it. Your magical color turquoise lucky numbers, three and 21. Gemini's, the new moon entering your spiritual house and Venus entering your social sector make you efficient, creative, and vibrant. You want what you want and you are not taking no for an answer. In career, you can now build a new solid foundation because there's hope, doors open up, and now it's time to build up a new future. You are now capable of doing this. Give your best for the better good of all and you will succeed greatly. Family members, speak out the truth which helps you better understand who you are. And by midweek, there could be some changes of plans be flexible with the flow because it's all for the best. On the weekend, share your feelings. Open your heart. Joy, closeness awaits. The magical color, red, lucky numbers, 4 and 22. Cancers, the new moon entering your social house and Venus in your career sector, bring good news about the project or career plans. In health also, there's definitely some improvement and healing in the horizon. You seem to be at the right place at the right time with the right people. So just believe in your luck, have faith. You may be also in the mood to be 
doing something unusual with family members or a loved one, why don't you do it? And listen to the advice of a Taurus and a Scorpio and the Libra. And we can celebrate your amazing accomplishments. You are doing good and moving forward. Your magical color red, lucky number is 1 and 11. Ta-da! Leo, the new moon entering your career sector, and also Venus entering your karmic house, make you quite energetic, optimistic. You're getting your mojo back. Your financial picture is brighter. And also there's change and intensity in the air, and it gives you a boost of energy. In love, you feel confident and closer to your goals. Family and friends and partners also help you to succeed easily. You're lucky with legal matters and the financial picture is definitely brighter. On the weekend, you definitely should spend some good time with people you care about and some sincere friends. And celebrate a little bit your victory. Your magical color turquoise, lucky numbers, seven and 43. Virgo, the new moon entering your comic house and Venus re-entering your shared resources sector make you quite alert, intuitive, and strong, confident. You feel very inspired and also curious to know more about personal issues. You could be dealing also with the unknown. Dig deep for answer, investigate, research, and see things the way they are, especially in love. And also in career, you may have a deja vu experience, but you're also able to open new doors and people could give you a chance or you could get an offer the job or something that you like. On the weekend, follow your heart, not your mind. Your magical color, blue, lucky numbers, 8 and 44. ta -da! Libra Libra, the new moon entering your house of shared resources and your ruler Venus re-entering your relationship sector, bring you like a second wind. You can catch your breath, you're popular, you have power, you also have the ability to convince partners. Believe in your luck. You attract important people that could also help you succeed. Ask and you shall receive. You are now back into the flow and it feels good. Your social life also allows you to express your creative side. You could get some good news from abroad, from abroad, some people from another country. And it's very important this week, the more generous, the more spontaneous you are, the happier you will be. On the weekend, you feel free, more in control of your life. So celebrate you. Your magical color is fuchsia, lucky numbers 3 and 21. Ta-da! Scorpio, Scorpio, the new moon entering your relationship house and Venus entering your creative sector bring you willpower and a chance for a fresh start. You're magnetic, you shine like a star. Bye-bye past and welcome a brand new you, a brand new future. And I'm telling you, in your health, this is a time that you could be the best you could be. All the insecurities are and fears, they fade away and you're now back on track for great success. Push on your goals, on your wishes, dream big. Where do you want to be in a year from now? Remember, Jupiter is coming and you're signed in November 2017. So you're going to be ready for the big, big good fortune nine years coming your way. Are you? And we can celebrate who you are becoming because you're doing good. Your magical father, Fuchsia, and lucky numbers are 9 and 45. Sagittarius, the new moon entering your workhouse and Venus entering your creative sector make you intuitive and confident and also very, very optimistic. There's a peace of mind in your mind and also there's beauty in your heart. Your energy is high and people admire you because the, your way you're doing things in a different way, you're quite innovative actually and very creative. In career, you do have to listen to what other people suggest because it's teamwork, all about teamwork. And somehow the occult could bring some fabulous answers about your personal life. Try your luck at Games of Chance, you could win something. Let's go and party if you do, invite me. And on the weekend, you should definitely say yes to tender moments. Your magical color red, lucky numbers 11 and 22. Capricorn, the new moon entering your creative house and Venus. Re-entering your home sector bring you good news in finances, possessions, friendships. Also your relationship with uh, some people you have seen in the past. There could be some people coming back and knocking at your door bringing you good news or some invitation. You can also meet important people that can really help you in your career. Social activities bring some leadership in you. People ask you for favors and you really show them how you could take control of things. Thank you for being there. 
helping other people will definitely bring rewards on the weekend. Loved ones make you feel special. Your magical color, violet, like in numbers, one and 13. Aquarius, the new moon in your own sector and Venus entering your house of communication bring you self-confidence. You're very popular and you attract prestige, applause. The emphasis is on expressing your feelings and getting things done at work and also closeness with your family. Your health is higher, better, and nature, children, pets bring you luck. You may be working a little harder, have extra responsibilities, but take time to play a little bit and relax, especially on the weekend. Some social invitation can come with way. Absolutely accept them. You'll have a ball. Your magical color, violet, lucky numbers, seven and 28. Ta-da! Pisces, the new moon entering your house of communication and Venus entering your financial sector. Bring you action, breakthroughs, hope for the future. Your intuition is very strong, so listen to your gut feelings. Spend more time alone also to reflect about your future, what you what you want to accomplish the next couple of years. And if you have a, an idea to have some kind of trip to organize a getaway, I think it's a very good idea. Even with Mercury going cuckoo, it will allow you to relax. Take initiative, be bold, and also make your life the way you want it to be. This is truly a satisfying weekend that uh, people will make you happy in many ways, so count your blessings on the weekend. It's very peaceful and very poetic. Your magical color blue, lucky numbers, eight and 44. Aries, the new moon entering your house of finances and Venus re-entering your sign, bring action, a new vitality, especially in your personal life, and more the ability to get things done your way. A better way to negotiate, better relationship with people around you. A good time also to reflect about your desires, your wishes, and express also your artistic, your tender side. The sweeter you are, the more you will succeed. You could also have metaphysical thoughts or conversations. You attract smart people that truly inspire you. And if you're planning a good away with someone special, I think it's a very good idea. Go for it and really get the tickets on the way and make all the arrangements. On the weekend, tenderness, really knock at your door. Knock, knock, who's there? Cupid. So, are you gonna answer the door? Your magical color fuchsia, like numbers three and 21. Your magical thought of this fabulous week, what we focus on with our thoughts, wishes, the way we speak and feel is what we attract and manifest in our lives. So if you like how your life is going, guess you're thinking and feeling the right things. If you don't like things the way they are going, that means you need to think and change and speak differently, okay? You need to always go positive. It's a training, you do it. I love you, I positively love you. Be good now, bye.